intro and this is my last lecture. Uh, my name is Ryan Trung and this is my last lecture. Chapter 4, Parent Lottery My parents have always been there to support me through school and life, whether it was through yelling or a quiet conversation. My dad can be very unreasonable and stubborn, but he's there when it counts and that's what I love about him. He tells me about, a lot about how I'm very lucky to be in America and make the best out of it, to be better than he ever was. Then there's my mom. She is strict and serious when it comes to school and work, and when it all is okay, she is funny and very overly sarcastic. I know that both of them yell at me a lot, but when that's over, everything is a lot more fun and enjoyable with my family. Chapter 7, I never made it to the NFL. I have had many times where I have been criticized, but all of them were a really big lesson to me in how I did things. It helped form my emotions and how I am as a person today. One person that has criticized me the most is my dad, whether it be washing the dishes correctly or taking out the trash on time. But those times have helped me to remember to do certain things and learn my lesson so the next time I have to do something, I do it right. Chapter 24, A Recovering Jerk Lots of people have given me feedback on many things. Stuff like homework or how to clean a specific pan correctly. But none come close to the amount of feedback I've gotten from my teachers from when I was just in preschool to now. All my teachers have given me feedback on assignments that need fixing or a subject that needs to be worked on. Chapter 28, Dream Big. Although there have been many times that I have had my dreams crushed by adults, I would rather talk about the time when I was little and what is being an astronaut. Though I do not quite remember the person, I remember them saying it would be hard and it was scary to go to space and risk your life. Now that I look on ba back on the dream, it wasn't as serious as I thought it was. But nonetheless, adults should encourage kids to reach for their dreams and if they don't make it, there are many other activities and jobs that you could find, learn to get good at, and revolve the world around it. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. Everyone has their do's and don'ts, but they found out one way or the other. There are a lot of brick walls everyone has to get over to achieve their goals. Some of those walls come from even bigger walls that you have to climb first. For example, I've had the issue of getting good grades each year, starting from middle school. I constantly had to keep up and play catch up with assignments and late work. So I started to work on one thing at a time, such as getting all the old late work done and turned in. Then there was the setting part for tests and quizzes. All brick walls, no matter the sizes, can be overcome one way or the other. Another example of the brick wall I had to overcome is try and stay fit. It started off when I suddenly had the urge to run, so I started to run with my mom every Saturday. Even though it took some time to get used to it, I eventually started to like it. Then there was another urge I had to get back into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I asked my dad to see if I can do it again, he said he was glad to say yes. It took a while to actually commit, but now it's, a, it's an activity I enjoy every week. So there are many brick walls we need to climb, and some not alone, to achieve your main goal and to never give up.
Thank you for watching my last lecture video. As an extra, I added a clip at the end. Mm. Yo, hey, badass, no, what are you doing? Hey.